Dirty cops who made career-ending mistakes. Think you've heard it all about dirty cops? Prepare to be shocked as we explore the stories of officers who believe their positions gave them immunity, only to make career-ending mistakes that led to their downfall. Here are four shocking stories of officers who made career-ending mistakes, proving that even badges can't shield them from their blunders. Disclaimer. On July 4, 2023, a Popka police officer, Oscar Mayorga, a five-year veteran, was arrested for DUI by the Eustis Police Department after driving recklessly in his marked agency vehicle while wearing his agency-issued uniform. So, Rap asked him, hey man, do you have anything to celebrate for today? He said no. He's like, be honest, in our profession, you know, honesty goes a long way. He said, I'm gonna be honest, I had three Benadryl. Yeah. I was like, okay, when did you know that? It's about two hours ago. I'm like, why would you take three Benadryl knowing you had to go into work tonight? He said, I was just trying to sleep. I said, oh, you're, so you're trying to miss your shift because of that? I said, no. Well, and I can talk to the sergeant. He's on his way, or he said he's probably going to be on his way. Okay, and then Rap asked him to do FSEs, and he said no. Okay. I have seizures every, like, two or three months. Yeah. Are you on medication? Yeah. What do you think, Lord? Um, starts what it be. Does your medication say not to drink and take it? Mix it with alcohol? That. Does it say not to mix it with yeah. alcohol? Yeah. <laughs> When's the last time you took your medicine? Four days ago. Oh, so you haven't taken it recently? Okay. So, you do not want to go down to the hospital right now? Ah, uh, no, sir. Eustace police discovered an open beer in the center cup holder of Mayorga's cruiser. Though Mayorga initially denied drinking and claimed he was on his way to work, he eventually admitted to consuming three tall boys, all while showing signs of slurred speech. All on the floor board. Looks like it. His car inside is a disarray. His laptop's on the floor board and everything. We're on south right now. We're at 503 south right now. He lives off of a... Uh... The thing is, is he said that he was, he's going in 441 in New York City, but he's told Rovichet that he's on his way to work. Yeah. All right. He said he was on his way to work, but I don't think he's on his way to work. If he's on his way to work, then he's in deep trouble. Because... Uh, yeah. uh, he told... All right, well, he's, he said uh, that he never went to any of the radio. Uh, off the the Papa has no clue that he's out here. That's what he told Rap. Okay, yeah, we, uh, we well, took his weapons and stuff off of him already. Do you need to do anything else here? They did, they I don't that believe so, unless, because uh, right. I'm the one that pulled him over, found him first. Okay, um, so. whatever we do from this, I need you to write a supplement to it, um, but go start shagging and call us with 50 raps. Yeah. Okay, I'll write a supplement to whatever yeah, happens. Mayorga claimed he had taken Benadryl and suffered from seizures, but his breath test showed a blood alcohol level of 0.391. He has been placed on administrative leave with pay while awaiting an administrative review. Moving on to the case where a routine traffic stop transformed into a boxing match with an officer showcasing his punching skills. On April 9, 2022, Richmond police officer Eric Smith Jr. initiated what appeared to be a routine traffic stop, but it quickly escalated. The footage captures the moment when the suspect flees, with Eric pointing a taser at him and ordering him to kneel down. As the situation escalated, Officer Eric struck the suspect with the taser multiple times, but he didn't stop there. He proceeded to punch the suspect in the face several times while pinning him down, further intensifying the suspect's suffering.
After reviewing the footage, Officer Eric was charged with felony assault for allegedly striking a person multiple times with a taser causing serious bodily injury. The Richmond Police Department later terminated Smith, who also faced charges with enhancements for using a deadly weapon. Officers, often blinded by their egos, cross the line and end up getting fired. The same thing happens in our next case. The case started when YouTuber Matthew Roche began recording an incident where a person threatened to jump from a tower, with officers below trying to prevent it. While Roche was filming, officers approached him, disregarding his First Amendment rights. What? It's public property. First Amendment protected activity. Unless you got it taped off, I can be here. Okay, and that's why I'm standing a good distance away. Well, the more people he sees, the more he's getting agitated, okay? We don't want him to fall. I don't want him to do that either. That's why I'm staying way back here. Okay, can I go further? Like, how far are you talking? Well, we're closer than we want to be, okay? All right. What's your name and badge number? My name is Cooper Murphy, badge number 1189. Thank you, and what's yours? Molador Okay. How about I stand by that pole over there? Is that cool? All right. I'm willing to compromise. Initially, two officers arrived and politely asked Matthew to either leave the scene or stand farther away by the pole, and he complied by standing near the pole while continuing to record. However, later on, Officer Nick approached and escalated the situation. Hey, you, I need to get out of here. Nope. Get out of here. This is a First Amendment protected activity. Do not touch me. You know I'm gonna arrest you. Get out of here. Me for what? I'm gonna arrest you. Do you want to call this meeting and get this guy upset? Get out of here. I'm not interfering You're with gonna get him I'm upset. Kind of far away. You're gonna get him upset. That's why I'm standing behind no, the pole. We don't need the camera here. Out of here. What are you gonna arrest me for? For interfering. How am I interfering standing this far back? Back. How am I upset? Back. I told you to leave. The this city a, property, this, I can tell you to leave. Yeah, it's public property. No, city, go, go. Public property. Get out of here, I'm going to arrest you. For what? I just told you. You want to get a lawsuit? I don't care what you do. You're getting out of here. No, I'm not. We're trying to negotiate something here, and I don't need you here. And that's Screw why I'm up. standing so far back. Get out of here. You need to leave, I'm going to arrest you. Last time, I'm going to tell you. This is public property, sir. Last time I'm going to tell you. What's your name and badge number? I'm the chief of police. And what's your name? Nick. Nick what? Churis. Do you not know the Constitution that you swore to uphold? Get out of here. Do you not know the Constitution that I you swore you, to uphold? I told you last time. I am media. You mean, no, you're not media. Yes, I am, sir. Okay, I guess I'm getting arrested, guys. What department are you with? Huh? Police. Corona police. Everybody start bombing the Corona police with phone calls because he's illegally arresting me right now. Matthew was simply standing there recording the incident, not interfering or causing any issues for the cops. Despite this, Officer Nick, clearly frustrated, took out his anger on him, and when Matthew resisted, Nick arrested him to assert his badge authority. Come on. Oh, now you want to take me closer? That's brilliant. Can you bring a car over here? I talked to the state troopers and they said I was fine where I was at. No, you're not. Um, no, I talked to you. You got a negotiator I coming. Fine where I was yeah, at. Oh, How do you turn this off so you don't waste your battery? You don't need to touch it. You turn it off, that's also a violation of my rights. You're just stacking it up for yourself, aren't you? What's your name? Don't go through my pockets. You got no right to. You. Shut it's the hell up. Unlawful arrest, and you're unlawfully going through my pockets. You just live on Garrison Road? No comment. So now you're gonna be a real asshole, huh? Well, you're being one, so why not? No. Yeah. 
How'd you're stop? violating my rights. No, sir. listen. I give a f about your rights right now. Really? Nick treated Matthew like a criminal, and when Matthew reminded him of his rights, Nick responded that he didn't care. He then proceeded to search Matthew and placed him inside the patrol car. I'm not politically correct. So shove that up your I can give a less what you think. You understand? Okay. Yeah, I understand. I'm worried about that guy jumping off that guy. And that's why I was hiding behind the And car. I don't need you here doing this. So you're going to jail. You're going to learn the hard way. I told you about four times. I'm not going to learn the hard way. You are. No, I'm not. Hell yeah. <laughs> you. You guys take that lodging for me? I'm going to pull this down and put a spoke in my eye. What do you want for uh, charges? Anything. Matthew was taken to Shiawassee County Jail, but was released the next morning when prosecutors chose not to issue a warrant. Following his release, Matthew posted more YouTube videos in protest, which led the department to respond by firing Officer Nick for misconduct. Lastly, let's look at the case of a Navy SEAL who believed that carrying a badge would grant him the freedom to commit any crime. In the early hours of February 6, 2023, Arizona police apprehended a reckless driver, later identified as 59-year-old Darren Runyon on State Route 89A. Runyon's vehicle was notably dragging a gas pump hose. What are you asking me? Calm down. Okay, give me, roll your back window down for me. Hold. Roll down your back window for me. Back window? Yeah. I have to get this dog. I'm Navy SEAL. I got to get this dog to Prescott Valley. Okay, roll down your back window for me. Which one? This one right here. Where are you coming from? Phoenix. Okay. Can you shut your car off, please, sir? Sure. Can you step out for me? Sure. Got any weapons on you? No. Nope. No? Okay. Keep your hands out of your pockets. Where's your ID at? In my, in my driver's license right there, my wallet. In your wallet? Yeah. Where's your wallet at? Right in the front. My credit card got in today. Okay. I got jumped at my house. I got hit with a shotgun. I got to get the dog to press. 524, we're out. Seriously, look my nose. Go for it. If I go in your car and get your wallet for you? I can get it. What's the big deal? I'll get to that. I just need your wallet. What's up? No, you tell me. Well, we, I, you were. All I did was ask you. I, I'm you lost. You know out what's of. wrong? What? You just asked me, so I'm about to tell you, okay? You gotta let me talk, though. We right. heard you. There was a call coming in from Prescott Valley that you were tailgating, going approximately 80 miles an hour down no, there. No, no. I, this car doesn't do 80. I got jumped at home. I'm a Navy SEAL. I gotta get this dog here. I had to take an auxiliary car. Darren appeared annoyed from the moment Officer Egan began questioning him, possibly unable to accept the fact that he was stopped. When informed of the reason for the stop, Darren claimed that his car couldn't reach 80 miles per hour, a baseless assertion given his slurred speech, which led the officers to suspect he might be drunk. You're a Navy SEAL? Yeah. Where are you stationed at? Down in San Diego Harbor. San Diego Harbor? Yeah. Okay. And I'm lost. I asked you for directions. I gotta get this dog here. Well, you... I ran out of gas. Okay. I gave these kids my, my very good knife for, so somebody to get it. I don't know where I'm at. Granite's Basin. It said Prescott how long ago? I'm bad. Hit with a shotgun. I'm pissed. Hey, step out for me. Step out. What? No, this way. Step on. out. You told me there's no weapons in the car. There's one right beneath no, your seat. Not. There's a big knife this right a, there. I'm a Navy SEAL. Is that a, a weapon? Navy? Not a weapon. That is What's a weapon. The, I, what is the deal? I'm trying to get to Prescott Valley. I'm a Navy SEAL. So I ran out of gas and I got jumped. Okay, come back to my patrol car. And oh, come, come on, this is ridiculous. No, it's not wait ridiculous. Till you, wait till you hear from my commander. I will. All right. Okay. When the officer looked inside the car, he discovered a large knife beneath the seat, despite Darren's claims of not carrying a weapon. Darren's behavior made sense now. He clearly didn't want the officer to find the knife. He was then taken to the patrol car. I want you to call down to, to, to Phoenix. Come here. I'm against no, my you call here. down to Phoenix. I'm not calling down to Phoenix. Get over here. What? Now. Back my, right there on my bumper. All right. Okay. Where's your wallet? Is it in your front seat? It's, it's right in my front seat. I had to take a jewelry can car. Can I go get it? No, I'll get it. No? No, this is ridiculous. It's, it's what the? Stop. What Stop. are you? I asked you listen, for simple okay, listen, directions. Listen, listen, listen. You got called in as a possible DUI driver. You're going 80 miles an hour on the I freeway. Did not, I did a, not get jumped. Do not interrupt me again, okay? You had a 
gas hose connected to your car, which you lost somewhere on I the highway. I don't have a your gas, gas cap is off. You got beers in the passenger just, seat. So you relax and you listen to us, I okay? I think kid filled the tank. I thought he was relax. done. You relax. Talk to us normal, because we're talking to you normal. Now right. you're yelling at us, which is causing us to yell at you. I guess I give the kid my beers good. In the passenger seat. Yeah, it's supposed to be there, young man. Oh, okay. Why is it supposed to be there? It's ordinance of the Navy. Ordinance of the Navy. It is. Front beers and, er, beers I'm telling you, I gave the kid my very best knife because I ran out of gas because I didn't know what was that. He was filling up the tank. I guess he, he, he didn't fill it up. Although what he did, he said go. Back to the gas station. Okay. I got to get this stuck. Is Prescott Belly that way? No. Which way is Prescott? Prescott or Prescott Belly? Uh, Prescott. Yeah. Prescott Valley is that way. Or, sorry, Prescott Valley is where you came from. Right, You're Prescott. headed to Prescott. I got to make my hotel reservations that are already made. I appreciate it. I really do. Be good. You're not going anywhere. Be good, man. No. What the? What are you doing? Get down. Get down. Get Help! 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 Hey. Help! You just made things way worse for yourself by assaulting your officers. I didn't even put sleepers. That's absolutely incorrect. Things escalated quickly when a physical altercation began. Darren attempted to walk away but was stopped by the officer, who retaliated by trying to hit the cop. He was then subdued and handcuffed by three officers, at which point he started playing the victim. Oh! Oh! Now, no, I'm just gonna get there, man! Put your arm behind your Give back. Give me your arm. What the f***, man? No, man, I got with the gas I got his head. Get your your arm behind your back now. You see what the f up, man? My goddamn, I'm gonna kill you. Now, you son of a b Don't fight me. Son of a Do not fight me. me. You bit me. Do not fight me. You, know, you realize you just committed a felony, right? Your car's no, getting towed because you decided to you commit a felony. He's for me, that's why you got son of a b Oh! I'm in the Navy, Sam! This guy's a f***ing man! Help! 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 I didn't try to get away! Hey, you pumped all the gas! What the hell's the problem here? Hey, stop. What the hell's the problem? The, the problem is you just assaulted a police officer. You took it from something that could have been pretty simple up to I a know, felony. You grabbed me by the throat. No, you punched our officer no, first you and then you ended the up. Throat. Okay. You punched saying that. Relax. I said, just don't like Navy SEALs. We were here to make sure you were okay to drive. I am. And you decided to assault a police officer. You no grabbed reason. me by your throat. I want to go my license. You just grabbed me there. He didn't throat. grab you until you punched him in the chest. No, I didn't punch him in the chest. I tried to push him back. You see he grabbed by his throat. You see that? What? That's a video camera. It recorded right, we'll the whole see. thing. We'll see. All right. Let's get you stood up here. Got anything on you? Any drugs? No, no I no? don't drugs. I'm a seal. Okay. Which was people? How's my face? How's your face? I got jumped back to I got, I'm trying to get this dog to Prescott. You got to uh, have a seat here, sir. You good? Yeah. Despite suspicions of impaired driving, there were no visible signs of physical impairment. Darren was ultimately arrested and charged with aggravated assault on a police officer, resisting arrest and misconduct involving weapons.